can start. Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Charlie, your main man. The one who is going to show you how to uh, cook or rather to grill some uh, black brim which I'm going to put in the oven and then I'm going to show you how uh, the best way to uh, prepare it. Everybody's going to love it. The kids are going to love it. Your friends are going to love it and everybody's going to love it. And I'm going to show you how we do it from where I come from in Zambia. How we do it from there. So stay tuned and stay focused. And also just make sure you subscribe to my channel and like this uh, click on the like button there to make sure that you are always uh, part of this family thanks yeah. okay so this is the food that we have we're going to prepare today so we have the black brim and then we do have uh, the potatoes here these will be the vegetables which are going to prepare together together with the, uh, with the, with the fish so we've got potatoes there, we've got red pepper, and then we also have the green pepper, it's not just here. Um, and then also we have uh, the uh, carrots, the green and red chili, asparagus, as well as the eggplant. So these will be just be part of part of the meal that we're going to prepare today. So okay, so what we're going to do now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make the marinade. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to marinate the fish. Once we do that, then we we'll put it in the in the grill. So for now, uh, I'm going to show you how to make the best marinade for the fish. We're not going to buy any any spices or whatever, but we're just going to make it ourselves here. So what what we have here? We've got some uh, spices here. We've got the black pepper, uh, turmeric, and then we also have the the curry powder, and then also this is a mixture of that's a garlic. Uh, garlic paste so that's what we need and then also we do have the tomato here uh, I've got the onion and then also the chilies which I showed you before and also the paprika there and then we're going to use uh, uh, olive oil to make the, the spice the marinade yeah okay Okay, so we chop this. We just make big, uh, big cuttings. We don't need to be because after this we, we put it in the in the in the blender. So just want to make these big cuts. Okay, then the chilies, just big. So this chili is just for for flavor. You know, we want some flavor in this in this fish. Okay, just big ones. Then uh, just wash this. Okay, big, big chunks. By the way, these were already washed, but you know, sometimes you just have to wash again. Okay. This one, last one. And then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, put this in the pot. Okay, everything. Because what we're trying to, to make at the moment is the marinade. We want to marinate the fish with our own sauce. And the sauce, that's what we're making now. To make sure that you guys, if you're watching, you're also salivating. It's very important for you guys to see this okay so I'm gonna put a lot of olive oil I'll tell you the re I'll show you the reason why later on so I'm using olive oil of course olive oil is good it's, it's, it's much better than the other vegetable oils so um, and it's, it's health so it's a lot of olive oil there but most of it I'll show you what I'm gonna use it later on so it's gonna be used for other things yeah then put it there. Okay, we'll let it 
cook for some time and then meanwhile I'll be doing other, other stuff uh, what I'll do is I'm gonna add the rest of the ingredients in there so I'll put two tablespoons of garlic first There's some tomato paste. Just put everything. And then we're gonna add some uh, turmeric just for the color. The color as well as the, the taste, a little bit of that. And definitely we need the, the, the grounded uh, black pepper there. So just add some black pepper there. Okay, at least a tablespoon of that. And then also some curry powder. Add a tablespoon there of curry powder as well. And then we do have some paprika. For, for some good taste, just one tablespoon as well. Just here, make sure that everything is mixed. All the black powder is everywhere. All the spices are mixed together. Then from this, we're going to make the best marinade for the fish. And once you eat this, woo, hey, hey, it'll be something. Okay, something I forgot was the salt. I'm gonna add the salt now. enough good all right thank you yeah so that's the marinade it's coming up well so just wait for it to just the moment uh, the vegetables start looking uh, uh, such in color that's when I will take them out so just wait for that to happen. Maybe in the next five minutes, then we can take it out. So far, it's been it's been cooking for about five minutes. So just another five minutes, then that's it. Wow! Even the aroma of these vegetables, the mixture of these vegetables and the spices, you get this beautiful aroma already. So uh, we expect this fish to be the best fish. So uh, it's almost ready now. And then we'll just remove this and then the next step we're going to do is we're going to blend this to make sure that the mixer is all together now so um yes that's the next thing we're going to do okay so now we let this to cool a little bit and then we're going to put this now in the in the blender to make the marinade after that we're going to marinate the fish and then we'll keep it maybe uh in the fridge for about five minutes to ten minutes and then I will put it in the in the oven. Okay. All right. I think it's only just that's it. So next, that's what we're doing here. Just mix the contents properly. This one, all, all of it, and 
bring our fish. Let's put it all in there. So now uh, everything is ready for us here. So we've got the marinade, it's ready. It's tasting so nice. The aroma is just in this house, so beautiful. And then we've got the fish there, it's also ready to be marinated. And then here is our vegetables. These are the vegetables uh, that we, I was talking about, so I've cut them all nicely. And then they're all gonna be, they're gonna go under the fish. The fish is gonna stay on top, and the vegetables will go under. So, yeah, so we're gonna start now to marinate our fish. So we just put the marinade everywhere. And that's it. Okay. So just allow the marinade to fuse in everywhere. I'll just put it there. Next fish. Put the marinade inside there. I want this marinade to fuse in. Okay. One if the kids eat, they'll be happy. Yeah. Happy kids, happy daddy. That's 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 the key here. Look at that marinade. See? Look at this marinade. You can't, you can't find this marinade in shop, man. In, in, in any shop. This is only prepared at home. Best marinade. So put this next there. The other one. adding this marinade to the fish so that the, the fish can have can absorb everything that we have here so that's the key here that's what we're going to do just wash my hands okay. okay so we want, we want the, the marinade to soak into the fish so what we're going to do is we're going to put it uh, uh, the, the fish in the fridge just for a few minutes and then after that we're going to uh, uh, put in the grill for now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this fish together and then I'll put wrap, I'll wrap it up and put it in the fridge and then in the meantime I'll start preparing um, the vegetables I'll put the vegetables there I'll put the oil this, uh, remember we had so much oil so the extra oil which is in, in the pot is going to be used in the vegetables there Okay, so now we have the vegetables here, and then the next thing we'll do, we'll put, we'll put the, the olive oil. You remember we're talking about the olive oil? So this olive oil is, is, is already got the flavor in it, so we're just adding it in there to the vegetables. 
just mix them all together. Okay. And then the next thing we'll do is we're just we're just gonna add some salt. And maybe just a little bit of pepper as well. So some salt and pepper. Okay. Okay, that's it. Okay. Right. Sprinkle some pepper. And then also some salt. So the fish has stayed for at least 15 minutes in the fridge and now we're just taking it out and we're gonna now put it um, onto the on, onto the wire and the vegetables are just underneath there good so next just put that one there like so like that Like this. Like that. Okay, so the oven is now ready. It's, it's, it's been preheat, preheated to about 200 degrees. And now we're just ready to put the fish. We want this fish to be a little bit closer to the, uh, to the heat. So put it at drawer number two. Like that. Good. So now we're gonna leave it for about 15 minutes. But we'll check it, we'll continue to check it in every five minutes. But uh, it should be able to cook like in 15 minutes. So every five minutes we'll go and check and then we'll flip it uh, to the other side until it's all ready. What we want is to want to keep the moisture in the fish so that the flavor is, is, is in the fish. And you're gonna love it. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to flip once, one side. All right, come on. I want to flip you, my friend. Best way to flip this. And that's how it looks. So, what you see there is the. So what you see there is the. Uh, it's the sauce. You know, you got the sauce. The sauce that we made. It's all what you see there is all the looking brown, well cooked, it's smelling so nice. The kids are happy, and that's the key. And Steve is happy, and then that's it. That's what we want to see. Yeah. And I am happy too. So let's eat now.
Fantabulous. This is very fantabulous food. Get some fish. Some sauce. Mmm. 